Oh, hey, what's up? So this time uh, we're doing uh, Shigatsu wa Kimi no So, otherwise known as Your Lie in April. Now, this is a very popular anime. Uh, lots of people love it, and you know it's you know amazing. Everyone's like, I cried. All this, all this stuff. Um, everybody, yeah, lots of people like it. Now, if you, I don't know if you can see my score, but I gave it a six. So yeah. Um, I'm going to say that this is an overrated anime. Yes, I said it. Your line, April, is overrated. Does anyone agree with me? Okay, good. We have one <laughs> We have one negative review here. Let's see. What are they? Oh, they gave it a four. So, um, yeah, anyway, so obviously, even if it's a really good anime that most people love, there's going to be people that don't like it. Um, so I'm going to say that, although, yeah, it's a decent anime, but definitely overrated. Um, I, I can't really call it good which is why i'm giving it a six uh you know for it to be good it has to be a seven you know based on the the the, the ranking here um so this 8.66 is definitely blown blown out of proportion i mean this is putting it on the same level as like death note and code geese it, it's it's not even close not even close to that level of of power of, of you know of being a masterpiece so you're lying in april um maybe low sevens maybe mid sevens, I would drop this by a full point minimum, minimum full point, maybe even like a, a point and a quarter or maybe even at one and a half. Um, yeah, I would say close to one and a half points at most. I'd put this in the low sevens um, because it, it, it it's, it's got some good points going forward, but it unfortunately it just drags out too much. Like this anime just drags out and drags out and they don't really... It's, this the storytelling is just not that great. Like, I mean, they, uh, I don't know. I, I just felt kind of bored. Like, I know it's sad, but the thing is, like, all the sad moments, they're they're kind of ruined because I think I think online everybody just ruined it. Everybody spoiled the story because they said how sad it was. So you kind of already know what's going to happen. I'm not going to tell you what's going to happen, but you can probably figure out what's going to happen. Um, after watching a few episodes, or if you read people's comments on it, you can probably figure out what's going to happen. And because of that, the M impact of what does happen at the end is kind of lessened. And even though, yes, it is a very, very sad anime, but it is just because everybody just, uh, I don't know. It's just the, the, the way everybody talked about it and the, the way the show presents everything, it just, uh, it just, uh, it, it is like, I don't know. There's so many things done wrong. <laughs> can't really explain it but there, there's just uh, yeah it, it's a sad story but i just don't think it's told very well uh, let's just put it that way um it's been a while since i've watched it but i just just generally remember it being kind of boring like to to be honest it just wasn't very entertaining to watch um so that's why i can give it like a six uh, i do like classical music i'm actually a huge fan of classical music so i thought that that's pretty cool but i just i just don't like how they handle the story um and i just feel like they dragged out too much um yeah basically um i think they're i don't know beard what was like i don't know people are just being i guess melodramatic in the anime and yeah i i, I have a, i'm having a hard time putting in words exactly what i find wrong with it but it just it just i think it just comes out to the fact that it just was not it was kind of boring. It wasn't very entertaining to watch. So that, that's pretty much it. So anyway, yeah, I do I do believe it's very, very much overrated. Uh, and I would put this probably in the low sevens. So yeah, see you next time.